Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to make ESP8266 web server home automation system. With this project, you can control your appliances devices from a web page. This web page can be opened with an IP address from your browser. Make sure everything is connected to a same Wi-Fi network. So let's get started making it. In this video, I will be using these all components. A ESP8266 board, relay module, breadboard, LEDs. First, I will demonstrate you this project with the LEDs. You can also try this if you don't want to make a home automation system. So now let's move to programming. We are using ESP8266 Wi-Fi library. You can download it. Now here you have to replace these things with your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password respectively. We are using port 80 for our web server. Here we have declared the relay states. And these are the GPIO pins. Here we have declared all the relay pins as output and low in the initial stage. This is the HTML code to display the web page. Here you can change the heading of your web page. Here we will select the ESP8266 12E board and we will select the port. Then we will compile our program and upload it to our board. This may take some time to upload the code. Now we will open the serial monitor and now we will select 115200 as board rate. Now press the reset button on your board. And here you will get your IP address. Copy this IP address and open it in your browser. So here we have got our web page. Just make sure that your ESP board and the device from which you are controlling it should be on the same Wi-Fi network. Else this project won't work. So now I will show you how to connect it with relay module. For demonstration, I am using a two channel relay module. You can also use 4 channel relay module as I have shown in the circuit diagram.
The green LED shows that the relay is on. I have designed PCB for this project. This is the schematic of this project. I have converted it into a PCB file and then I have downloaded the Gearbear file. To order your PCBs, you can visit jlcpcb.com, which are the sponsors of this project. You can select on code now. Add your Gearbear file and place your order. You can also use the PCB which I have used in the previous home automation feedback project. This is also compatible with this project. So I will be using these old PCBs of my previous project. So assemble your components and start soldering it. Now I will be using high voltage appliances to demonstrate it. Be very careful while doing this. I have connected two LED bulbs and a fan. So this is how it works. I hope you guys like this project then hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.